Well, well, well. It looks like Team Fortress 2 got a bit of an update. <laughs> now, this may surprise you, but it's actually more of an update than just Scream Fortress, and it was, it was kind of a shock to see that, but they've updated manpower as well. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. A mode which I thought long forgotten, but has actually since received a pretty big update, which is very interesting, among which is if you are dominating the match, you know, you're you're just slaying fools with your with your power-ups and your class, um, you now receive the dominated tag, I guess, um, in which you take more damage and your power-ups do less to help you, and you uh, receive mark on death, which means you get mini crit every time you get hit. So, yeah. But it's very fun. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm liking the changes they've made, so big up to you, Valve, for that. Um, I did not think you'd pay any attention to that game mode, but you did. As with any Stream Fortress, there are a couple new maps, a couple new spooky maps, as spooky season is upon us. And, you know, a cosmetic case and some war paints, which look pretty cool. And we're going to open some of them in a bit. Let's take a look at the maps and what maps they've added. Halloween featured. These are the four new maps we have received. Bloodwater, Hassle Castle, Megalo, and Mulder Grove. Now, Bloodwater is spooky bad water, badder water, if you will. And then, I don't know what these three are. I haven't seen them yet. I'm going in blind. Just want to, you know, see what we've got going on. I think I think that's scary enough, but we'll wear a different hat. That That is, that's terrifying. You, that's terrifying. Let's hop into a map. I haven't, I've not, I've seen one, one of the new cosmetics and two of the new wall paints. So I'm trying to keep myself as unspoiled as I can. I didn't even know TF2 updated. I was at work when this happened. Um, I was thinking this is a bit early for Scream Fortress, but they probably pushed it because they wanted a manpower update, so I'm, I'm not going to complain. But they could have uh, given us two updates in one month. Jesus, okay. <laughs> that is indeed quite spooky. And we have spells. Let's go. This is nice and spooky. I like this. I, like, I do like the spooky vibes that TF2 do. Like, yeah, it's always like, oh, wood and pumpkins, but I like it. Oh, <laughs> what? Who is this pumpkin? What's his lore? Who is this man? Tell me, I need to know. Who is this man? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, son. Oh my god, they put water in bad water. I know, it's crazy. It's literally bad water, because it's red. <laughs> I didn't know someone red team when I said that. Um. Okay, monoculus. Ah, oh, hello, mate. Hello there. How you going, lad? You want to not kill me? You want to not do that? I'd appreciate it, lad. Putis Crepitus moment. You ready for some Putis Crepitus? Whoa, hello. Wouldn't be surprised if this was a plot by Blue to distract our sentry guns. Oh, we have spells. Thanks. Oh lord. This isn't going to be good. Oh my god, the double reflect, the double reflect! Oh god. Hey mate, that one, I didn't deflect that one. That one didn't work. <laughs> I got the double reflect off on Mr. Crypto though. That was pretty good. Don't worry about me, big man. <laughs> Whoa. Just die. Just die. Whoa, get out of the way, 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 get out of the way. Okay, we uh, didn't get out of the way. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder if I can get someone in that hole. Oh my god, that was amazing. I'll take that. That was fucking beautiful. 
Yo! That was sick! I'm sick! Okay, so, here we are. We're on Hassle Castle. Um, nice little Castle Palo map. Yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, I think this bit's a bit open, but it is upward. Um, so, kind of does make sense. Got some uh, spooky, spooky cliffs up here. I'll, I'll have translated what they say, don't worry. But yeah, it's just spooky upward, really. Um, just put a bunch of spooks over there, some spookums over there. I'm actually just gonna wander around the map and have a look, because there's some good air blasting spots, as there always are on upward. Nice, spooky, got a big ass freaking tree here, can't shoot anyone off here, but it is what it is. This part is largely unchanged, just a bit spookified, if we're being honest. Yeah, it's just like a little courtyard, got a few trees now. And this is the, oh my god, this is insane. This is the uh, payload. This is the final point. Look at that. Holy shit. This is crazy. What is this? Can I hop in here? No, but there's a a hidden spooky hypnotizing texture. You you will subscribe. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. This is lovely. Very spooky as well. Very nice. So this is Megalo. Um, it's a King of the Hill map. Um, I know what map it's a reskin of, I just can't think of the name right now, but uh, if you see it, you'll know. Oh, that's that's cool. If you see it, you'll know. But yeah, we're on a little turntable. I thought it would turn with each thing, but we're just getting a train. A ghost train! Well, that's pretty cool. Pretty spooky. Death metal. Could be a spooky. Whoa, hello friend. Hello friend. <laughs> Hello friend. Ah. Oh. It was not a threefer because he is a fly. Here we are on Mulder Grove. Another Koth map. So far so good. Got the got the sufficient spooky vibes. Capture the control point, open portals to a 3 3 battle and fight for team wide crits. Hold the point to win the game. Okay. A little uh, spooky little spooky tunnel here with spooky spooky oh, oh Jesus. I did not expect that, I was just observing the spooks. Let's go! Find a portal. Oh shit, there's one there. I wanna join. Let me in, let me in, let me in. No! I wanted to join the 3v3. Not too good at all. The stonk is chasing me. I will not hesitate to throw him off that fucking... Throw him down there. Soaps. One of them wanders through here. And I'll get him. The, the, the trap is set. I'm oh, sorry, I should let him capped. Well. <laughs> that was Mulder Grove. Right then. We have our cases. We have our keys. I, I'm only going to do one of these because I care more about the cosmetics than the wall paints personally. But yeah, we're still going to have a look at what's inside. So let's inspect the item. We'll start at the bottom. We have the goblin here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? The seared sorcerer. Now this was a cosmetic I saw. It looks very, very cool. Gord grin. Keeping on brand with the coronavirus, I see. Glow from below. That's nice. I like that. Now I think out of all of these, I like the seared sorcerer. And the Coblin here. <laughs> it's just it's just great. It's just great. So let's uh, open them up and see what we get, shall we? One item. And it's a strange... <sighs> Easy game. It's going to be a good unboxing. It's going to be a good unboxing today, lads. The one I want to go for. But I'll take an unusual. <laughs> oh, two items. Okay. Oh! <gasps> My god, <laughs> an unusual taunt. This is the man where as well. This is gonna this be bank. This could be bank. Holy shit, <laughs> that is so sick. And oh god, it's what's that like? Well worn, Jesus Christ. But holy shit, I, I said, I did say 
Oh yeah, it's going to have one of these Halloween effects as well. Holy shit. Or if I wait, it will have a different one, I think. But man, I said it was going to be a good unboxing, and I did not lie. Look at that. All right, it's in the second cosmetic case. One item again. The hollowed helm. Very nice. Onto the third case. Damn, we got unusual. Jesus. Backpack expander. Always nice to have. And the boom boxes. I want to see what they look like because I can't imagine them looking uh, good. Our four penultimate case of the day. <laughs> wow. Ooh, okay. The gourd grin. Nice, nice. <laughs> and the final case of the uh, video, of the event probably. The Calamitous Cauldron. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So all in all, this has been a good unboxing. We're going to see what these cosmetics look like on their respective class. Maybe not the eyes, but look at that. That's sick. It's the uh, I think it's the Imp from Final Fantasy, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry, I did not play this game, so I could not tell you, but I think that's what it is. Don't know what I expected, to be honest, but Pyro does not have cake. This just in, Pyro is cakeless. But yeah, all in all, pretty good and pretty spooky. <laughs> See you later. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't pop, I just money dance. Yeah, that wristwatch costs a hundred grand.